Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to any WWE gaming. If you like the pro wrestling gaming content, just give a like to my video, subscribe to my channel. You know, the big show handed Brock Lesnar his first ever singles defeat at Survivor Series 2002. Brock had lost for eight months before facing the big show. The big show was Brock's biggest threat back then. Paul Heyman warned Brock for weeks and switched allegiances mid match, helping show dethrone Brock. Guys, this cell is absolutely gigantic. Just looking at it makes me happy I'm retired. Byron, ever since Big Show pinned Brock for the first time, the Beast Incarnate has seen red during every one of their follow-up fights. Brock has... Looking to lock it in here. There's no way he's giving up now. He fights his way free. But how much energy did he exhaust fighting his way out? What a stomp. Good grief. You guys know what I like most about Brock Lesnar? It's that he lets his actions in the ring do the talking for him. I wish a lot more people would have watched Brock Lesnar put it together here. Oh boy. He's definitely starting to lose it here. And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. Some superstars love to talk the talk, as Corey was alluding to. But with Brock Lesnar, it's as if there's no time for talking. He just wants to get in there, get the job done, and leave. Just like his shirt says, eat, sleep, conquer, repeat. Destruction just comes naturally for the Beast Incarnate. Big Show clearly out of his element at this point. I did not expect to see this. He doesn't want to let this match get out of control, guys. Gentlemen, I think we can all agree that we've seen some pretty special moments over the years. But for me, few were more special than getting the opportunity to call the first ever women's Hell in a Cell match back in October of 2016. He goes for the cover. Not enough to end this one. Not yet. Recalling that first ever women's Hell in a Cell match, I gotta say, Lesnar looking to fly. Helping show dethrone Brock. Submission time! Is he done? And he breaks the hold. But look at him, still trying to catch his breath. conversation about great Hell in a Cell moments without bringing up the name Shane McMahon. He really has become synonymous with Cell insanity. You've got to believe this one's over. It's hard not to recognize what Shane McMahon has done when it comes to Hell in a Cell. As Corey was saying, but at what point is enough enough? Come on, Michael. There's no such thing as enough when it comes to Shane McMahon. Even you know that. You know, guys, I've been at ringside for many of the big shows. He's got him covered. There's the kick out by Brock Lesnar. The Beast won't stay down. Michael, the Big Show's WrestleMania struggles are real. He's lost to guys like John Cena and Triple H, but also was shown up by a boxer and a sumo wrestler. Yeah, that's a WrestleMania curse. Yeah, but I'd say that jinx ended when he won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Everyone was gunning for Big Show that night, and he still won. Mention a curse again, and Big Show is going to make you eat that trophy. And there's the reversal from Big Show. Oh, and it's a reversal. What impact! Guys, we all know the storied history of Hell in a Cell, but 
We'd be remiss if we didn't at least mention that the first time anybody laid eyes on this demonic structure was back in October 1997 at the Bad Blood pay-per-view. are starting to teeter. You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. Reflecting again on the first time we saw the Hell in a Cell structure, I don't think anybody at the time could have envisioned the truly merciless moments this structure would provide over the years. And amazingly, Michael, those moments somehow become more and more barbaric with each passing match. Beautiful technique. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Of course, guys, we all... He might have it. Each of these competitors... Suplex City! He's back in control here. Oh, man, Big Show is in trouble now. Can he score the pin? Brock Lesnar has done it. Guys, I think it... Uh, victory is on the horizon. Big Show doing a great job of turning that around. Trying to dislocate the shoulder. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Be careful not to get disqualified. I have to agree with what Byron was saying about the dangers of Hell in a Cell. The truth is that superstars change forever after competing in this demonic. Brace for impact. Here it comes. F5. Oh, my. That's what he was looking for, Michael. He's got to be running on empty at this point. Wow, I thought this was over. Power bomb. Real quick, let's remind everybody that there are no rules inside of Hell in a Cell, meaning the referee's sole job in this match is to call for the bell following a three count or submission. The same holds true for outside the structure. As we've seen many times in the past, superstars don't always stay within the cell. No, they don't, Cole. In fact, a lot of times you'll see them competing on top of the cell of all places. And it's Big Show getting out of that one. The world's largest athlete is on a roll. And that's something an opponent does not want to see. When Brock is feeling it, good luck to you. Showing off some of his speed there. The Big Show is always a favorite to win the Royal Rumble, but he's never punched his WrestleMania ticket there after 12 appearances. It's the strangest thing. He knows he's in trouble. On the shoulders here. And it could be a long... But the F5! Bang! Looks like this show is over, guys. Things just went from bad to worse for the Big Show. He did it! He conquered this demonic structure. A lot of good action in that one. Here's another look. He's getting it done here. He's getting after it here. Look at him go. And last but not least. Here is your winner, Brock Lesnar! And there's your winner! That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. Thank you everybody for joining us tonight and what an epic Hell in a Cell match we just witnessed.